he has a new new challenge, a new opportunity. And, you know, maybe meet in the playoffs, maybe not. As an NBA fan, it, it just creates that suspense that uh, I think we all appreciate. Man, listen, Steph Curry has the most perfect NBA career. At the beginning, it wasn't so perfect. He meant the Warriors, they were struggling. They couldn't win, they went in the finals, and the Warriors, they drafted for a lot of players. They drafted Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green. Now, they went all-stars, but the Warriors, they turned them into all-stars. So Steph Curry hasn't had the perfect NBA career, but I mean, it's kind of up there because the more kids Steph Curry gets, the more rings he gets, and the more rings he gets, the more all-stars want to join his team. So it's like, damn, right now Steph Curry can just sit back and relax. He put in that work. He made the Warriors attractive for everyone else to come join. Now look, we got Kevin Durant and DeMarcus Cousins joining the Warriors. Now we all heard what Steph Curry said about LeBron joining the Lakers. He said it creates a suspense for the NBA. LeBron has a new chapter. I might meet him in the playoffs. Maybe not. But before that, Steph Curry warned LeBron James. Steph Curry told LeBron James after he joined the Lakers, you've still got to beat us, meaning the Warriors. The reason why I said what I said in the beginning is because Steph Curry, you know where you came from, how tough he was in the beginning. Before the Warriors had the bandwagons, before Steph Curry was an all-star player, before the Warriors had three all-stars, before Kevin Durant joined them. Now that Steph Curry, I don't think he'd be saying this. That Steph Curry in the beginning, he would not be saying this. Steph Curry before he had Kevin Durant, I don't think he'd be saying this. Steph Curry would not tell LeBron, you still gotta beat us. Now, it's true. Everyone in the NBA has to beat the Warriors. If you wanna win a ring, you gotta get past the Warriors. But to me, Steph Curry wanting LeBron, I like it. He's like, man, I don't care where LeBron goes. You still gotta beat us. But we know LeBron can't beat the Warriors. So Steph Curry, I think Steph Curry knows that, hey, listen, I got Kevin Durant. And now I got DeMarcus Cousins? Yo, LeBron, you know what? Go wherever you wanna go. You still gotta beat us. Now, guys, think about it, right? Steph Curry is saying this when he has five All-Stars on his team. Think about that. Steph Curry told LeBron, you still gotta beat us when he has five All-Stars on his team. Well, including him. I mean, damn. If I was Steph Curry, I'll be telling LeBron, hey, LeBron, you gotta beat us. I'm a regular civilian. Put me in the NBA today. Put me on the Warriors right now, and I'm calling out LeBron. I don't care if I'm a rookie. I don't care if they give me a $1 contract. I'm calling out LeBron. Hey, LeBron, you still gotta beat us. Period. Point blank. I mean, come on. Steph Curry got five All-Stars. He knows he can say stuff like this. But when Steph Curry choked the 3-1 lead, that Steph Curry would not be saying something like this. But to me, it's like, damn. LeBron needs, like, what, four more All-Stars? Come on, man. It just ain't fair. But we're gonna see what happens. Tell me what you guys think. And I'm out.